The coronavirus surge as of late seems to be calming down. New case numbers reported in the Commonwealth have started a downward trend. And the number of people fully vaccinated, that only continues to rise. As of Friday, nearly 61% of the population in Virginia is fully vaccinated. And clinics in the area are stepping up their game, switching up their services to hopefully keep the numbers growing. 10 on your side, Asia Tolliver brings us what you need to know from Military Circle Mall. Yesterday marked the first Saturday of many in a recent capacity expansion at the Community Vaccination Center located in Norfolk's Military Circle Mall. That means more time options for you to stop in and roll up your sleeves. The clinic will now be open from 10 a.m. to 7.30 p.m. Tuesdays through Saturdays. Virginia Department of Health's Dr. Perham Jabari says you'll see the difference. I think people will notice a, a notable change um, compared to those who were just here a couple weeks ago uh, with all of the additions and really um, enhancing the site as a whole. The State Department of Health says it's ready to provide as many as 1,000 free shots each day. That includes initial vaccinations from Pfizer, Moderna, and Johnson & Johnson, plus boosters. The booster dose, again, is for those who've had the Pfizer vaccine, and six months has passed since their second shot. So. That's what we're focused on over the next couple of weeks. Right now, the booster shot is available to those who've had the Pfizer vaccination, are at least 65 years old or at least 18 years old with an underlying medical condition or high risk environment. FDA approval to vaccinate 5 to 11 year olds is expected towards the end of October, and the clinic's additional capacity will allow them to provide that option too when the time comes. Jabari says the booster shot experience is similar to the initial injections when it comes to side effects. For about three quarters of people do experience some injections, uh, some soreness, some pain. Um, it's very much like what people experience in the first and second go around. If you want to make an appointment, you can do so at vaccinate.virginia.gov. I'm Aisha Tolliver, tonight on your side.